I'm going to start with uh, my liner brush to get the very top because I want them to be pointed at the top. In my demo piece, I used the small scruffy brush, but I didn't really like the effect that it had. So let's just start with the scruffy brush. Just getting the top done. Just indications here of the tops of the trees. Now my the pine trees, not my pine trees, the pine trees around my house, the limbs are not going down. In fact, they are actually, they come out and then they go up a little bit. So that's what we're gonna aim for. We're gonna aim for a little bit more reality or where it comes out and then um, goes up. Now the thicket, is a darker green, but it might not be dark enough for you. You can blend in a little. I did burnt umber on my other one, or you can just add a touch of black to your um, palette and mix that with it. Let me see, where's my licorice? I got black and green blue. Okay, here's the licorice. Now, as you can see here, I have the thicket and I put a touch of black. This is the licorice. And I scooped up some of the thicket and then the tiniest, tiniest speck of the black. Black, as I said, will overpower. So you want to add it very, very lightly. And you can already see the difference in the color. And I just want to bring that green, give it a really dark tone. So I'm going to wipe out my thing over here and then we will take, I'm going to try this scruffy brush. This is the largest scruffy brush that comes in the set and I'm just going to do the top here. I'm going to see how I like how that will play out. As far as I'm going to keep it right at the center and I'm going to load as needed, trying to keep the load light. And you notice I'm not making it go down. I am just going out from the center. So far I'm liking this. Got a little too thick on there. And if you need to, you can give yourself little points so where you want the tree to widen at the base. Now I'm gonna add different layers of the color, so don't try to fill in with just this color. This is going to sit into the background on this tree. Do a very light touch when you're at the beginning. And I'm just going back and forth, putting in this darker color. And I'm going to bring it all the way down to the snow line. I like that effect. So I like how that one turned out and it looks like I'm gonna to have to mix some more. So I wasn't sure how much I would need. So I'm gonna mix some more of the black. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this pile of thicket. Does not have to be an exact match to what we already used. We just wanna darken it. It's the shadow color. And then we'll come on with just the thicket and then maybe a touch of so we'll come back in, it, my camera overheated. So I mixed up some more of the thicket and the black. I'm loading the brush and I'm gonna do the same right here. Got a little bit too much in my brush. Start very narrow and let it work in. Just work it back and forth. Reload as you need to. Try to take your time. I tend to get impatient and then um, overdo or make big glops or too much pressure. Light pressure, you can always add more paint after a bit. Back and forth, back and forth. 
and I'm keeping the brush tilted so it's kind of on the edge of this scruffy brush. This is the three quarter inch scruffy. And this one is gonna come down, remember down past this edge of the barn. So we wanna come down to the snow line. The other trees are showing through. And then this could come out a little bit. So there's the undercoat of your pine trees. You're gonna have the dark color there. So I'm gonna to have to give my camera a break. It's overheating. Just bring in some more of that dark color and then we're going to come back over it with just thicket. Now we're going to go back. We've put the dark, darker green, darkened green with the black mixed with the thicket. And now I'm just going to go in with thicket. I'm going to take the edge of my sponge and just get it on here. I don't want it too thick. And then we're just going to touch in with the which is now lighter green, the thicket, just to give that tree some depth. Not too much. We just want to give it like there's some lighter green showing forward. And the same on this one. Very light touch. Whoops, see I said that and then I made a big glop there. And I'm just gonna wipe that up a little bit just because I didn't want a big glop. Okay, so there is our thicket part on the pine trees. And then we can come back a little bit after that's dried and add a touch of snow to the pines. And now our trees are mostly dry. Well, they are dry, so I can add that touch of white to the trees with our sponge. Or I could come in with a scruffy, the scruffy brush. And I think that is what I did the trees with, wasn't it? Was the uh, scruffy. See, when I take a break and I walk away, I uh, forget what I've done. So here is the wicker white. This one's about empty, so I may have to get out my new one. But the sponge worked great for adding the thicket. So I'm not too worried about it, but if you wanted to use the scruffy, uh-oh, I'm getting sloppy here with this. Gotta be careful. Okay, so here's my scruffy. It's dry. This has been dried. So I'm just loading, you see, just the edge. And then I'm going to come in and just touch in some white here and there. That got a little too thick, so I should have brushed off some more. So I just took a little off with the other edge, the other corner, the dry brush. I took it off a little bit. I don't want to just go across everywhere. I want to give these some little bit of differentiation. Because trees don't just look like they have streaks going across. Of course, we are going for an impression of a tree, not reality, so it's not, you don't have to be perfect, but I do want to give it a particular look. So I'm very careful, less is more. You can always come back and add more if you feel the need. So let's just I kind of curve some of them like it's sitting up there, different levels. On the tree. Just 
still a very chilly morning, so it's, the snow hasn't fallen from the trees completely. And there's an area over in here, you think it needs brightening? Oh, I used the part I, I spilled, and that goes to show you how I'm not paying attention, huh? But I want to brighten up some of these. Just touch in a little bit more white. Just a wee bit more white in the areas where I think it needs just a little bit of. Got that a little too thick. Blend it out. I'm using the dry side of the brush. Okay, some spots of brightness in amongst all of those trees. I think my pines have enough white on them. So let us, let us move on to our next segment. <laughs> 